Ice Cross Downhill is one of the most exciting winter sports in the world. Established in 2001, the sport has been growing ever since and is still drawing more and more attention every year. That does not only relate to the number of fans, but also to the number of athletes trying to qualify for the races. It all starts with the national qualifiers. Athletes trying to qualify for Red Bull crashed ice have to prove their skating skills by clearing a test course as fast as possible. The top athletes of the qualifiers proceed to the national shootout. Up to 100 skaters get the chance to work their way up all the way to the finals. Therefore, they have to survive several knockout stages and will face a set of international athletes in the ultimate elimination round. International athletes also have to make their way through the time trials in order to proceed to the finals. Only the best 64 skaters get to race on the main race day of a Red Bull crashed ice event. Once the competition has progressed to the finals, the race mode changes from time trials to four-man heats. In every heat, four skaters battle side by side. Only the two fastest advance to the next round. Round by round, the field is cut down to the last four athletes to remain in the competition. The final heat between those four determines the winner of a race. The athlete to aggregate the most points throughout a season takes the World Championship title. Protective gear must be worn whenever stepping onto the ice cross downhill track. Crucial parts of an athlete's equipment are knee, chest and shoulder padding, as well as helmets and gloves. Despite being a physical sport, intentional body contact is forbidden in ice cross downhill. Fouls, such as pushing or pulling opponents, lead to immediate disqualification. Generally speaking, athletes are better off using their legs to gain position rather than their hands. Red Bull crashed ice. Simple rules, tough challenges. <laughs>